Good evening. Welcome to Weekends with Triple IT Hedge. In this series, Triple IT Hyderabad students talk about their life and academics at our institute. Uh, today's session is the fourth of five sessions, and the theme for today's uh, session is life on Triple IT Hyderabad campus. Uh, I'm Gayatri Purigilla, and on call with me today are Malika, Sachin, and Sunil. We'll start off first with a small introduction and our experiences about life on campus, and that will be followed by a question and answer session. Uh, Malika, uh, over to Malika. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's session. I'm Malika, and I'm a CSC undergraduate at Triple IT Hyderabad. I've just completed my second year, and I'm currently interning with Google. A little bit about me, I was brought up in Kuwait in the Middle East and moved to India for my undergraduate. Um, I was inspired by one of my school professors who uh, encouraged me to learn more about the research at Triple IT Hyderabad. And that's what drove me to secure admission here. And like you might have guessed, I joined via the DASA mode of admission. So when I joined two years ago, my parents and I both were quite anxious about how I'd adjust to the environment, how I'd adapt to the surroundings, and essentially the transition from Kuwait to India. But having spent two wonderful years on this campus, I can now confidently say that these have been one of the best years in my academic life. Triple IT has provided me some wonderful opportunities and has indeed literally taught me to push my boundaries. I can assure you that the environment on campus and the people are so friendly that the campus will become home to you very, very soon. I have made some amazing friends whom I consider family now. And uh, be it anything ranging from having meals together or attending cultural events or even playing a game of snooker in the evening, everything adds on to life at campus. And in fact, I'm really eager to get back to campus once the pandemic is under control. So when I joined, I had numerous questions and so did my parents. And I believe that every fresher would have a lot of queries, confusion and doubts. And it's quite natural. Two of my primary concerns, including my mother especially, were my stay on campus and the food. So we have four messes on campus. Um, one is the North and the South mess. And these are the two messes that serve South Indian and North Indian food, as the name suggests. We have a Jain mess called Yuktahar. We have another mess that serves both veg and non-veg options, that is Kadam. These four messes cater to three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they also serve snacks in the evening from 5.30 to 6.30. My friends and I personally look forward to the pav bhaji on Fridays in Kadam. So besides the messes, we have canteens as well on campus. We have one near the basketball court. We have another canteen near the academic area. We also have a healthy canteen. And we have the quite popular juice canteen, which is open late at night till around 3 a.m. for any of your midnight cravings when you study. The other thing that was a worry to us was about my stay on campus. At Triple IT Hyderabad, it is mandatory for students to stay within the campus premises. Every student is assigned a hostel room, which is twin sharing, and comes equipped with a cot, a shelf, a table, a chair, and a cupboard. We have separate hostels for boys and girls. We have two boys hostels. One is the Bakul Nevas and the Palash Nevas. And the girls hostels are the old Parijat block and the new Parijat, which has three blocks, A, B, and C. I stay in Parijat A block. So all our hostels come equipped with washing machines and water coolers. And we also have hot plates if required. Our rooms are extremely convenient and comfortable to stay in. And our hostel wardens also make it a point that we do not face any inconvenience. In fact, I remember my mom pestering the hostel warden regarding how our stay will be and whether we'd be comfortable. And they've always made us feel comfortable. Overall, when I look back, I feel extremely happy that I decided to pursue my undergraduate studies here and have built some significant skills in this journey. I've learned a lot from my peers, my professors, and IIIT as a whole and look forward to you guys joining us as well. I'm comfortable taking questions in English and Hindi today. Thank you, Malika. So hello, everyone. My name is Sachin Chandani, and I joined IIIT 
2016, it's four years ago. So, and I'm in a four year program, so I'm a final year undergraduate. I just graduated virtually or I unofficially graduated like a couple of weeks ago. So for the first time, I heard about IIIT from one of the alums that what is the culture at IIIT, how are the opportunities, how is the research exposure and everything. So basically the person, the person uh, whom, uh, who I asked about the IIIT culture, he told me the bound, uh, he told me the exposure in terms of computer science and electronics that is present at the IIIT, how there is the flexibility in the academic, how is the campus life, how are the extracurricular activities. So I'll give you a brief introduction about the extracurricular activities during my, uh, during my part of the session. So it's like when you join the college, you are uh, you just out from your school. You uh, till that time, most of you have just lived in your home. So when you come to college, it's an entirely different culture. You have everything in your hands. In Triplicity, you don't even have the curfew, so you are independent to manage your time by yourself. It means nobody restricts you. You have deadlines. You have everything. You have hundreds of opportunities, and you have to prioritize them by yourself and manage the time by yourself. So I'll tell you about few opportunities as Malika has explained, uh, as Malika has described the uh, hostel life, Malika has described how was the experience for her. her. So I, uh, I'll try to explain the experience for me in past four years. So I have had it for four years and I uh, means I can definitely say that this has been an overwhelming experience for me. So when I joined the college, I saw there are not just academic opportunities, there are extracurricular activities. You have hundreds of opportunities in extracurricular, you have music opportunities. So let's go with the uh, first committee that is very important in IIIT, that is called Campus Life Committee. So when you join the college, you expect college to celebrate all the events that you've been celebrating from the beginning of your life, I mean, from your childhood, Holi, Diwali, social events, clothes collection drives, you would like to do social work, you would like to celebrate Makkar Sakranti or any events that you want. You would like to have a food festival of your own if you want, right? So we have a campus life uh, committee that organizes all these events throughout the year and everything is, everything is sponsored by the college. College takes care of everything and we have student representatives. So being part of the campus life committee, being a coordinator of campus life committee for two years, I can definitely say that we have organized, the campus life committee has organized such great events that they have been better than I have seen in my whole life. I mean, from, at my, even at my home. So, uh, so that was the part of campus life committee. We have a club's council. So one of the most amazing things about IIIT is the club's culture. So how clubs are managed, student representatives manage the club. So we have, uh, I can't even number them. We have so many clubs. So clubs like music clubs, dance clubs, chess clubs. You have strange clubs means you have, a, if you have a, even have a strange hobby, then you can just make a club of your own. So if, let's say you have a hobby that nobody has uh, taken out yet. So you go to clubs council, you get a couple of people with you. You just register a new club of yourself college will provide with them. So one of the examples, let's say we have a music club in IIIT and you are just interested in singing, you want to give it a try. You want to play an instrument, you never tried it. So if you go to them, they'll just help you out with everything. They'll help you out with the organizing, they'll help you out with to pick up the, pick up an instrument, pick up an instrument to basically play, pick up, uh, to help you, uh, to help you basically uh, play an instrument, to help you be the part of any of the events that they are organizing. So uh, we have a lot of events organized by music club. We have a lot of events organized by the programming club. We have a lot of events organized by the sports club. So that's all I, I have to say. We have other committees that Sunil will take over after that. So you have uh, all the opportunities at IIIT for my four years. The core skill that I have learned at IIIT is the time management. So how I manage my time? How do you manage your time? So when you come to college, everything is on your own. You have hundreds of things to do. Then you organize the time by yourself. You distribute between academic, non-academic, extracurricular activities. So as I say, if you just, the best skill that I have learned from IIIT is the time management and that have been just over, overwhelming for me and it has been a great journey for me and I hope it is for you. So now I'll hand over, uh, so now over, thank you everyone. And I can take questions in English and Hindi. So, uh, hi everyone, good evening. I'm Venkat Sunil Kumar and Mohdu. I'm a student of Articulating Hyderabad. I finished my third year BTEC in CSC. 
I am the Speaker of Students Parliament at Trinity Hyderabad and also I worked as a NSS Photography Club Coordinator previously. Currently, I am working as an app development intern at uh, Mondelez International. Mondelez is the company which owns all the Cadbury products uh, that we eat, all the chocolates and all that. And uh, I'm also working on another startup idea on my phone. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I joined Tibet EH uh, to JMA. Uh, I studied my intern at CJ Tanarana China Batch at Vijayawada. So, I got to know about Tibet EH uh, to my lecturer. Then I did a bit of research about Tibet EH, uh, comparing with IDs, NIDs, and bits. Uh, finally, decided that Tibet EH CSE would be the best choice for me. So, I got a 658 in JE Advanced and very good marks in bits. Uh, I choose and repeating it uh, because I knew that repeating it is one of the best colleges in India, especially particularly in um, competition field. So that's how and that's why I joined uh, repeating it. I joined repeating it in uh, August 2017. It was a completely new environment for me at uh, uh, the college and uh, two in Hyderabad, uh, one of the uh, the fast moving cities. So it can be of time for me to get adjusted there. Um, uh, Throughout the uh, throughout my first uh, few months at uh, higher uh, college, uh, I remember that Apex was the uh, main body which uh, tries to solve the pressures problems and uh, like help us to get adjusted there. So regular meetings with Apex body members helped me to get adjusted there. And the first few months uh, gone very smoothly because of the Apex. Uh, Apex is a surface student body uh, we have uh, especially to take care of the social talk about it a bit later. And, uh, yeah, like after some point of time, uh, maybe after around eight months are there at college, uh, I started feeling that college is my second home. So, till now, it's been a very beautiful journey for me at Red H. So I think the next year will also be the same. Uh, I myself enjoyed it a lot at Red H. Uh, of course, uh, balancing the academics as well. Uh, you have a lot of uh, extracurricular opportunities to participate and uh, to like, enjoy. It's just that uh, you have to know, you know, have to know how you have to manage your time, balancing academics and your life. So, yeah. Now I like to talk about the Apex and uh, Students Parliament. So these two are the uh, two student bodies uh, to ready head up. So Apex is there to take care of uh, pressures. It's a separate student body. Um, its main responsibility is to take is to make a newly joined newly joined students uh, comfortable and to solve their problems or issues. Uh, for the first two months, the Apex body will be very active. There'll be a mentor for every 15 newly joined students. Uh, students can contact their mentor at any time, and the mentors are always ready to help. Mm, we have another student body uh, at Tibet H, that's uh, student parliament. The student parliament uh, from every batch will have four or five MPs depending on the size of the batch. These MPs take care of the problems in the batch. The whole team is uh, held by gender secretary and uh, speaker of students parliament. At present, I'm the speaker of students parliament. Uh, we have meet, we'll have meetings uh, almost every two weeks to discuss about the student problems and any issues in college student space. Uh, we'll take those uh, student problems to the college management uh, concerning uh, authority, concerning faculty, and uh, we'll have meetings with them to discuss and solve the student problems uh, regularly almost regularly um, we generally don't like step forward step backward until the problem gets resolved like even if it takes months and months we'll be pushing it to get it resolved so any sort of problem or issues uh, faced by students in college will be resolved by students parliament. even college man management uh, the faculty always tries to involve students parliament in the decision making uh, like they, have, they will they have they try to know how the decisions they make affect students uh, so, like, it's very good that uh, college uh, management tries to involve students' parliament in decision making. It generally, it generally won't happen in many other colleges. So that's a very good thing at Tribulating Hyderabad. And uh, yeah, if any student has to uh, complain about uh, any issues uh, regarding uh, related to mess, uh, canteens, or hostels, or like, about academics, they can phone directly to students' parliament. And from the students' parliament, uh, take over that issue and uh, try to resolve those issues as fast as possible. Yeah. So in parliament, we have separate teams to handle mess, uh, hostel, and uh, canton issues. Uh, we have separate teams to handle academic and campus life related issues. There are a lot of things uh, we do in parliament throughout the year. So like, once you started to uh, 
get to go, you will get to know about that more. So that's it for now. Um, ask questions in the question section, and uh, I'll, I'll be answering those questions in English and Telugu. That's it. Uh, so it's so over to Gayatri now. Uh, I am Gayatri Purgilla, and I have just finished my third year in the Computational Linguistics dual degree program. Uh, I'm from Hyderabad itself and today I'll be talking about my experiences in IIIT Hyderabad and how life is for me on campus. Uh, we are a small campus of around 2000 students and I would say we consider ourselves more as family rather than just a student community. Uh, given the population on campus is low, we are uh, quite a closely knit circle and it's like everyone knows everyone, so we all have each other's backs. When I first came to college, a confused 17 year old about to stay away from home for the first time, one thing really caught my attention. So right from guiding me around campus to helping me with the whole registration process and showing me to my hostel, everything was taken care of by the students who were my seniors. So that first day in college was just a glimpse of how the student community would play such a huge role in my life at college. Uh, our college is situated in the heart of the city and it makes everything we need accessible to us within a three kilometer radius. Uh, I'm from Hyderabad, so you can trust me when I say Hyderabad is one of the best cities to live in and it is sure to play a part in adding some fun to college life. When I talk about life inside campus, other than the student clubs, the research centers, sports, etc. One thing which is very close to my heart is our three day annual, annual Techno Cultural Fest Felicity. So it's the biggest event at college every year. Our previous fest have hosted some great performers and bands like the local train Indian Ocean, comedians like Azim Banatwala, Rahul Subramaniam and many more. Uh, our online tech events have participants from all over the world and have gained international recognition as well. There are numerous events which happen throughout the three days and personally I feel being associated with these events either as organizers or participants or even as part of the audience is not just enjoyable but also acts as a great learning experience in terms of developing your interpersonal or management skills. Triplity uh, Hyderabad is a great place to be in to get a kickstart towards your career goals and since we are introducing the diversity pool this year I would like to add that our student community can boast about this harmony in coexisting with all, all genders and that I cannot wait to see more girls on campus. Uh, we would now be, uh, that's it with the introduction. We would now be taking questions. We already have some questions coming in. Uh, so for the first question, how many students does each girls hostel room accommodate? So, uh, for the first three years, you would be uh, sharing the room with uh, with a roommate. So there'll be two. There will be a twin sharing room, and for the fourth and fifth year, uh, it will be a single uh, accommodation. So the second question, okay, uh, Malika would like to add to this. Um, a common uh, question that is also asked regarding the hostel room is that how do you get a roommate in the first year? So the allocation of roommates in first year is random, after which from second year you can choose your roommate. Over to you guys. Uh, Thank you, Mallika. Uh, is internet available at the hostel rooms for first year students? If not, are there any other options to have personal Wi-Fi on payment basis? Uh, Sunil, would you like to answer? Uh, so for the first years, uh, college things that uh, college uh, doesn't allow to use a uh, LAN or Wi-Fi. And uh, if you want to use your own Wi-Fi uh, like that, yeah, I think uh, you can have your own Wi-Fi. Generally, Geo they they'll allow uh, two GB per day, so that will be enough. And uh, so apart from first years, every all other batches uh, can avail the LAN option, and uh, it's directly available to their hostel rooms, and uh, it's available in labs and. Uh, classrooms, uh, we have Wi-Fi and all that. Thank you, Sunil. So the third question we have is, are electrical appliances such as air coolers and coffee machines allowed in the hostel rooms? Uh, so uh, for during summers, we ha the uh, air coolers are allowed in the hostel room. You have to pay a small rent for the, on a monthly basis and air coolers are allowed. 
but uh, coffee machines and kettles are generally not allowed uh, because on in the common areas we have a hot plate where you which you can use for making uh, light snacks in all the hostels thank you sachin um, the next question we have are there enough washrooms available in the uh, available in the hostels so yeah all washroom uh, all the hostels have a common washroom facility it has uh, sufficient stalls for uh, and it has a, uh, it has both western and indian toilets as well as uh, stalls for uh, bathroom stalls for taking a bath as well as it has uh, mirrors and sinks in the common washroom so it is uh, it it is there are sufficient uh, washroom facilities available in the hostel uh, the next question is how is the quality of food served in the messes also are we allowed to order food from outside through zomato occasionally uh, so over to sunil yeah the quality of food served in mess is uh, pretty good it's uh, you feel like it's home food we we'll, have uh, as malika said we have four different messes uh, for all like all types of people yeah south mess north mess um, jain food and uh, other mess where we serve non veg uh, five days a week um, yeah apart from uh, mess food you are allowed to order food from outside to zomato or swiggy not occasionally you can order it every day that's not a problem the thing is uh, they say uh, like After 11 uh, p.m. at night, uh, we generally don't allow uh, vehicles into the college. So uh, after 11, you need to go out and pick up the order. So most people will allow avoid that. But in the evening time or night time, afternoon time, people like especially on sa- Saturdays and Sundays, uh, they order food from outside. And uh, so there is no restriction on uh, ordering food from outside. So the mess board is uh, uh, like fairly good compared to many other colleges. You feel like mostly like a home food. Even if you don't like uh, food in certain mess, you are uh, like you can change that mess to uh, another mess. As you have four messes, so at least one of them you will feel like a uh, good. So, or to get it, you know. Thank you, Sunil. Uh, the next question is: Are hostels and messes open to students in the winter and summer holidays? If anyone wants to stay back, Sachin. Yeah. So. Uh... So uh, hostels and messes are open to students in summer and winter vacations. If you are a first year student, then it's better it is suggested that you go home for your first vacation, either it's winter or summer. And after the first year, you might have internship. You might have if you are a dual degree student, you might have research work. You might have to stay for 20, 25 days during the summer vacation. So yeah, we have messes operating throughout the year. We have uh, hostels operating throughout the year. one more thing that that i wanted to that i wanted to add was we have a mess code means you can manage your menu that you want to eat your breakfast in this mess lunch in this mess and dinner in that mess so everything is managed by a portal you have your you can change your uh, basically a registration two days before the actual day you want to eat so it's a uh, highly flexible you can cancel it any time you have allowed cancellation and if you are in a summer break you can come to the host you can come and live in the hostel you can change your mess registration and you can live like the normal days normal academic days over to gratitude thank you sachin the next question we have is uh, is there any curfew in the girls hostel and how is the security malika would you like to answer that yeah sure so um, we do not have curfew on campus and this is applicable to all students and uh, having this privilege all students utilize it very responsibly we know that we have been uh, you know exempted of the curfew but uh, knowing this we take you know care that we use this very responsibly and regarding the safety on campus being a girl i can say that our campus is extremely safe and secure we have only one point of entry and exit in the campus which is well guarded by security guards moreover in every hostel also we have guards at the entry point and um, overall at every place in the campus there are guards and security available so um, i have felt very safe and secure within our campus and you shouldn't be worried as well over to you guys thank you malika uh, the next question we have are there indoor courts for badminton in the campus sachin would you like to answer that Yes, so for badminton, for table tennis, and other indoor activities, we have indoor courts. For badminton, we have a semi-indoor court, which is available out, which is accessible to everyone. Other than that, we have an open court in the boys' hostel as well. You basically, if there is not much air, and you just feel 
feel like playing uh, badminton with your friends, then you can go there. Otherwise, if you want a semi indoor court, then you have to go to some other hostel. Uh, other than that, we have this Fulera Gopichan Academy nearby. So if you are actually a good, if you actually want to play ba ba professional badminton, uh, professional bat, you want to be a professional badminton player, you can just go to that academy. Reply to have contact there to with the uh, Gopichans are uh, usually come to campus to give uh, to be involved in the sports activities during sports session or anything. So if you are actually interested in badminton, we have an academy which is like 500 meters away from the main gate. Sorry, I've just posted a link in the chat box for you to know more about the infrastructure on campus and the link is https colon double slash www.iit.ac.in slash about slash infrastructure. Over to you guys. Thank you, Malika. Uh, the next question we have is what does it take to get into the programming club? Do the programming club's activities help you prepare for competitions like the ACM ICPC and the summer programs like GSOC? Uh, Sachin? So uh, the question is about the programming culture at IIIT. So competitive programming, open source development and CTF has been the core soul of, core soul of IIIT programming activities. So if you want to go into the program, if you want to be a part of the programming club when you join the college, you just have need to have the will to join. Means you don't need to have any skills. You if you just have to, you just need to have the will. They'll provide you resources. So programming club has been highly active from all these years, and that is the only reason. That is one of the major reasons why we have such a great programming culture. We have had ICPC fi world finalists every year. We have ICPC world finalists this year. We have GSOC selection of a number of considerably large number of GSOC selections even from first years. So if you are just if you just joined the college like nine months ago and you are you are part of a Google Summer of Code, that's a big thing. So and do you the, do the programming activities help you to prepare for the competitions? Like yeah, everything is about them. So one of the major things about any college life is the culture that is being developed by, by the students there. So in terms of programming, I can definitely say that the culture you get for either it's competitive programming, it's open source or it's development. It's huge at triple IT and you'll get a lot of exposure. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Sachin. Uh, so the next question we have is how active is the quizzing club? What are its act uh, activities? So the quiz, uh, the quizzing club, uh, conducts quiz events there and it is pretty active. We also have a uh, quiz event happening during the lockdown like we have online quiz events and it is uh, it is pretty active throughout the college year as well. It, it conducts quizzes on various uh, various topics and we also have quiz masters coming from outside to conduct quizzes. So it's, it's a pretty active club. Yeah, so uh, just uh, adding to what Gayatri said, so it, it's quizzing club is not just about anything that is relevant to the actual spell B or any academic quiz. It might be about TV series as well. So it's fun. It might be about Game of Thrones. It might be about Friends. It might be about Harry Potter. So it's actually fun. It's not like the actual typical quizzing. It's like quizzing on anything. OK, over to Gayatri. Thank you, Sachin. Uh, so the next question we have is, is it like there is zero fun for the students at IIIT Hyderabad? Like it's more of a school kind. So first off, I would like to dismiss that thought and because it's it's really not like that. It's all about time management. Like Sachin has said, uh, all of us here have been coordinators for any of the clubs or the parliament activities and we take an active part in organizing events and trust me, we have a lot of fun doing so. So it's not just like uh, academic. I mean, I agree that the academic rigor is is high in triple IT, but th we have a lot of fun as well. Uh, just for statistics, we have had about 250 events conducted last year, be it cultural events or sports events. So, so yeah, I would like to say it's not just uh, it's not zero fun. Uh, would someone like to add something to this? Uh, Sunil. So I think the main mis uh, it's a uh, major misconception. Many students even I have this misconception before joining Tibet Alpha. I think it's due to the fact that uh, like most of the students to join Tibet uh, are like toppers and uh, yeah, like Tibet is famous for uh, programming uh, code coders. So like it's general data coders generally don't like to participate in social activities. But you have to understand that there are like. Uh, in college, there will be all sets of people, all kinds of people. So 
there will be people who uh, conduct act social activities um, like for functions parties or uh, like felicity and all that so we have a pex uh, it's a student body a parliament it's a student body completely run by students itself so like the your like uh, so no one can say that like it's a zero fun at uh, to be in about some major misconception uh, like i can understand you or like why you're asking from where you're getting to that point so i think it's better like everyone uh, remove that uh, thought from the mind malika would you like to add something to this yeah sure so uh, zero fun is quite a strong statement and i believe that when i joined on campus i was also you know uh, worried about whether my um, four years in college would be just studies or will i you know have chance to join clubs on campus be a part of events on campus and i think triple i has done a good job even in terms of that like sunil and gayatri have already mentioned we have had numerous events in this academic year and every year we have clubs actively taking responsibility to keep the campus culture and to just keep the extra curriculars arrive on campus back to that thank you mallika and sunil uh, so you can see most of us strongly disagree all of us here strongly disagree with that point like we have all had that misconception before coming to triple ic and uh, yeah that is cleared now once we are we are finished two or three years in campus uh the next question we have is is there uh, ac in classrooms labs and hostels if not can we bring portable small coolers in our rooms during summer so yeah ac uh, is there in all research labs libraries and some of the classrooms uh and for the hostels like i had already mentioned cool portable coolers are available during the summer time i have a keen interest in dancing ever since school days but never had opportunity to dance is there a dance club of some sorts in campus that they teach me to dance and can you provide more info about it i have also been a very eager quizzer and would like to know about the quiz club how active are both the clubs so we have one of the coordinators for dance club here which is mallika so i think she would be a better person to answer that yeah sure um so the dance club is a pretty active club on campus and like i had mentioned i'm one of the coordinators of the dance group and we conduct regular workshops on campus and we've had over 40 plus students visit us in all our workshops and we take a choreography that is most uh, recommended or requested by our students on campus and uh, we believe that the dance crew is not just for you know um well trained dancers but for anybody who has the passion and interest to dance uh, apart from workshops that are conducted on campus we also um, we also headed the flash mob that was conducted for our annual techno cultural fest and that drew a lot of attention and promoted our fest felicity a lot and we also have events that regularly come up with uh, you know probably a dance off or people sending us videos about their recordings and we actively promote this culture so i definitely think that you will have enough opportunities regarding dance once you come on campus back to that thank you mallika uh, the next question we have is uh, do first year students have access to internet in the labs or library yeah uh, we have wifi all over campus and they uh, have uh, they even the first year students can connect to it in all labs and library and anywhere on campus for that matter Uh, the next question are we allowed to stay outside or is it compulsory to stay at hostels and are outings available uh, the we uh, all the students are it is required for all the students to stay on campus uh, but uh, like malika had already mentioned there is no curfew time or there is no uh, it's an open gate system so you can uh, the, uh, the movement is not restricted you can go out and come in at any time so yeah i hope that answers your question the next one uh, is there any long process to get out of college if we are staying in the hostel like i had mentioned above there is no uh, there is no process you just have to give a biometric at the uh, end, during entry and exit and that is it uh, the next question we have is how demanding is the curriculum and overall overall schedule in triple it what is the typical daily schedule like sachin would you like to answer that yeah so uh, if you are in a first year uh, let's talk about the curriculum first if you are a first year then you have a fixed number of courses depending on your branch and depending on the what pro program you are in 
so you have a fixed number of typical classroom schedule is like you have classes from 8:30 they might go till 2 sometimes you have a gap in between and you have labs till 5 pm and like one of the one weekends you might have something like assignment evaluation you'll have project meeting we you have a lot of free time you 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 can you have a lot of free time it or just all about this how you manage your time so after first year what happens after first year and after second year what happens in third year you are choose free to choose your own elective so basically you can decide your own time table how you want your classes to be how what you what is the schedule that you want then you can have more free days like you have your all your classes on monday tuesday and wednesday monday tuesday and thursday friday and you can have three free days that depending on your how your how you choose your elective it's highly flexible if you are in third year because the plenty believes that once you are familiar with the system then that they, they should give you the freedom to choose your own elective uh, or to vary thank you sachin uh this next we have uh, since hostel is compulsory those students already living in hyderabad do they get to go home on weekends or other days uh gayatri if you don't mind can you share your experience since you are native to hyderabad uh so yeah uh because i have stayed in hyderabad i because i stay in hyderabad i feel like i have the best of both worlds kind of thing like i and since there is no curfew on campus i can go home whenever i want whenever i have a free time or during weekends there is no restriction as such but i also feel that it is very important to stay in the hostel because uh, because of the assignments or the academic rigor and uh, it it it's really helpful when you have people around you may, uh, there's a certain environment created in the hostel and even the research labs and the libraries are open till late in the night and you have a lot of people to help you out uh, with your academics when you stay in the hostel and when you stay on campus next we have what is the visiting policy for parents to visit the students is there email communication to parents about college happenings or important dates malika would you like to answer that yes sure so uh, parents can visit the campus whenever they want and in case they would like to visit the students hostel rooms they have to make an entry in a register which is uh, present in the hostel uh, main entrance and there is no other official procedure that is required and uh, regarding the email communication to parents about college happenings and important dates um this isn't done personally to the parents but students receive all required information and emails and it is communicated in a very very uh, clear manner so there would be no ambiguity regarding that uh, adding to this regarding your academic performance in your first year parents are informed about your academic performance back to you guys thank you malika um the next question we have is when are the winter and summer holidays and for how long so uh, we we have sem we have two sem breaks one after the spring one after monsoon semester and one after the spring semester after the monsoon semester we have a whole month of december in december so that's a one month break there and after the some uh, after the spring semester we have uh, an almost uh, three month vacation which is may june and july The next question we have is what is the dress code for girls? Uh, in our campus, there is no dis- restriction on or any dress code for girls as such. Uh, I think everyone is comfortable wearing whatever they want to. Uh, the next question we have, uh, one second, yeah. Other than the end of semester exams, what other exams happen? So usually during the semester, we have a one mid semester exam, two quizzes, and one end semester exam. Uh, this is this is a uh, fixed. for every semester but other than that depending on the prof we may have some in class tests or quizzes uh, and maybe some lab exams if the course demands uh, the next question please tell about canteen options and what kind of menu is available uh, sunil would you like to take that up so uh... yeah in uh, tibet has about we have uh, four five canteens uh, yeah uh, from early morning uh, around 9 and 10 uh, one canteen vidya canteen will open and they serve all the uh, necessary morning uh, recreated items like tea or coffee and some egg puff uh, which were and some cool drinks not not uh, gas based cool drinks something like coconut water and uh, fruity base kind of things and uh, they have uh, another canteen where uh, they sell uh, those uh, tiffins mainly those i am at the 
and those ki those kind of things. And uh, from afternoon, we have two can uh, two canteens. So fun one is a juice canteen, uh, which is uh, available at uh, pretty low rates, uh, from 20 to 40, based on the type of uh, fruit they use for juice. And uh, we have another canteen called uh, Tantra Canteen, uh, where uh, you can get all uh, some Chinese food like uh, noodles um, and uh, some North Indian food like uh, chicken, uh, butter chicken, and all kind of things. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have another canteen uh, which generally opens at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, that canteen is sort of like a bakery where uh, they sell biscuits uh, and uh, packet food. Uh, and uh, some packet coffee and thickness cake and all that. And uh, till uh, around, uh, we have another uh, canteen called, uh, that's for uh, uh, shawarma kind of thing, uh, frankly, we call it frankly. So that's generally pretty much open from around the seven in the evening to uh, 11 in the night, 11, 12 in the night. Sometimes uh, they open till uh, two, two in the midnight. And that depends on person. And uh, we have another canteen at the bakery canteen. They also open till two in the midnight. So I think uh, it pretty much covers uh, all of all your basic needs. Uh, even if you like, if you want anything extra other than what uh, what's available in the canteens, yeah, you can order from outside uh, yeah, till 11 p.m. Uh, the vehicles can come inside and give you a food. Often you have to go to the main gate to collect your food. So I think that pretty much answers uh, your question. For oh, back to guide. Thank you, Sunil. Uh, the next question we have is other than yoga, what are the mandatory extracurriculars that happen? So for the first two years in college, that is your first first and second years, you have you will be having compulsory yoga and PT. There will be there it will be a two credit course. And uh, other than that, we have a lot of sports facilities and club activities. So it's up to you if you want to participate on that in, in all of those. But it's not mandatory as such. Uh, so the next question we have is other than computer lab for CSE students, what other lab activities are there in the first year? Uh, Malika, would you like to answer that? Yeah, sure. So in your first year, in the first semester, there are four courses. One is the C programming, which requires you to attend the computer labs. The other course that has a lab component is the digital systems and microcontrollers course. This is also a course which gives you hands on experience on working with circuits and uh, working with a microcontroller. Moving on to the second semester of the first year, we have a course for introduction to software system. This is another course that uh, has a lab component and is heavily based on programming in the labs itself. And uh, the theory component of it is quite low. And the last course which has a lab component in the second semester is the IoT course. So it was the introduction to IoT course, which um, you know branches out into exploring the world of IoT and uh, teaches you a few skills that you can apply in the future as well. Back to you guys. Thank you, Malika. Uh, the next question we have is what kind of activities happen via NSS at IIIT? Uh, we have Sunil who has been part of the NSS, so he'll be a better person to answer that question. Yeah, firstly, thanks for asking that sort of question. Yeah, NSS is uh, pretty much active throughout the year, activity. And, uh, so we have a limited uh, strength, uh, limited strength of uh, volunteers in NSS. Uh, we, we do activities uh, every month, uh, twice in every month. And we do cover around uh, 12 to 15 activities in every in every financial year. We'll be uh, we'll have funding from the government to do all those activities, and we have good support from the college management as well. Whatever uh, whatever the student needs, whatever the coordinator asks, they're always ready to provide us. So uh, we do activities like uh, plot donations. Right? We do collect uh, plots, old plots from uh, hostels and. Uh, we donate it to the poor people uh, in slums, uh, which is uh, near to a college or even far also. That's fine. Uh, and uh, we have other 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 kind of activities like orphanage visits, uh, old age home visits. Uh, we do go to orphanages every now and then. We do go to uh, old age homes uh, twice in every semester. And uh, and apart from that, uh, we do blood donation camps uh, every other 15 and uh, January 26. That's uh, twice in every year. Uh, uh, we do collect around uh, 100 uh, blood samples uh, every semester. So, 
and we'll be coordinating with uh, mostly Usmania General General Hospital to conduct these kind of blood, blood camps. And uh, apart from these, uh, we do conduct a lot of uh, talks uh, with the most influential people in the government, like the bureaucrats, uh, which are like, like uh, IPS, IAS. And last time, I think I remember last semester, we conducted a program. Uh, uh, so it's called a road safety awareness program. We have uh, four or five guests from the uh, Telangana government, uh, Telangana government government. And uh, I, I remember uh, one of them is a DGP of road, road, uh, road transportation, uh, another one other is uh, IPS officer. And uh, a few are from IET, Hyderabad, one professor is from IIT Hyderabad, and the professor is from our college to Great Hyderabad. And uh, yeah, like it's, uh, it's a great event connected by to Great Hyderabad. Uh, there's sort of publicity for that. And like that, uh, we do like we do all kind of uh, social activities that uh, inspire us, that motivate us to do. And uh, we do conduct uh, cleaning trials outside college. Mostly we conduct inside college. If possible, we try to go out and uh, coordinate with the GHMC, uh, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. And we do a uh, few events every year, like around uh, two, uh, at least two in every year. And uh, I think if you go to the Facebook uh, NSS page of Triple H, you you find a lot of events there. Uh, it's better to go there and look out those photos and read about those activities. So it, like I'll say that it's uh, very it's uh, very pretty much very active. And so we have a very limited number of student volunteers. We do all all sort of activities which are which we are entitled to do. So that's it. Uh, it's back to Gayatri. Uh, thank you, Sunil. Uh, for the next question, we have: uh, Do you have an active robotics club? Do you participate in robotics competitions? And followed by: Do you have a club for gamers at Triple IT H? Uh, Sachin, would you like to answer? That? Yeah. So, uh, first question is: Do we have a robotics club at Triple IT? Yeah, we have a robotics club at Triple IT. So as basically to give an academic point of view of robotics at Triple IT, we have a robotics research lab at Triple IT, which focuses on mobile and aerial robotics and robotic vision. And we had a multiple number of conferences. So that is from the academic point of view, from our point of view, from a student's perspective, we have an active robotics club that organizes robotics event. Either uh, they are based on an assembly level programming or creating actual robots. During Felicity, we have robotics, robotic racing where you may basically you get your own robot, you can make your own robot, you can participate in the race. And to give a, do you some statistic about, so do you, uh, as you asked, do you participate in robotics competition? Yes, every year we have teams participating in robotics event. So one of the most common events that is being held every year is e -Yantra. So We have teams participating in e -Yantra. Other than that, if you want to talk about at the international level, so CANSET is there. So if CANSET is an astro robotical event that is happening every year in 2010 IIIT won the uh, CANSET and last year Team Falcon was the part which was worldwide ranked 24th in IIIT and that is all because of the student perspective. That is just because the culture that we have here in terms of robotics. So over to guys. Uh, thank you Sachin. Uh, for the next question we have, when can you apply to be a TA? So a TA is basically a teaching assistant. You will be working with the professor and helping the students out in their academics uh, on any course of your uh, choice. And uh, for a TA, the, uh, the minimum eligibility is to be in the third year of your uh, degree. The next question is, how will the interaction between seniors and juniors be in the campus and hostels? Malika, would you like to answer that? Yeah, sure. So um, I can talk from my personal experience. When I joined, I was totally new to how the college life and everybody on campus would be. But I found it extremely comfortable talking to all my seniors, my batchmates, and the Apex body was one body that was, you know, um, responsible for making me feel so comfortable. And uh, the campus co community on Triple IT, like guys we mentioned, is a very close knit family. And so everybody helps everybody else out. And uh, I can speak for myself that Sachin was a part of the Apex when I joined. And I still remember that whenever I had any queries, I could go to him and approach him very freely. That way, 
everybody will be there to help you and you will have no um, you know you will have you will have someone to address your queries at every point of time thank you mallika uh, the next question we have is how do we feel in college if we are introvert uh, so for, from personal experience let me tell you i am an introvert myself and i was very uh, apprehensive when i was coming to college very scared about how it would be but all you have to do is find your hobby join a club and trust me you make a lot of friends while organizing events or participating in events and also since it's a residential campus uh, and it there is a very uh, because uh, like i mentioned before there's a low population of uh, students in campus uh, it is it is uh, very easy to make friends on campus and uh, those friends will last for a lifetime uh the next question uh does the college take students outside campus on field trips or the likes of it uh sachin would you like to answer that yeah so uh it's about the field trip or or the likes of it so what happens when you join the college you have a value education session in that part and in the part of uh, as a part of that session you have field trips to farms you have field trips to lakes you might have field trips depending on what institute has planned this year so one of the most fun things about triplet is when you have your orientation session your orientation session is ended with a orientation trip to hyderabad where you will be taken with your all your batchmates and to uh, uh, all the popular places at triplet either it's the hussain sagar lake either it's the golconda fort in the end after just joining the 15 days of college you'll have your first batch picture where you where you will have a 250 students after that the only picture that you get is during your convocation so that's really fun that is really good part of your life in such a life thank you sachin uh, i would like to add to this that uh, there are a lot of students from hyderabad coming to college and all of them make it a point to attend the the tour even though they know all the places because it's a, such a great opportunity to interact with all the students of their batch and it's a really fun one uh, the next question we have is how are the healthcare facilities on the campus uh, sunil would you like to answer So I'd like to add uh, something to the previous question also. Apart from what Sachin and Gayatri said, uh, we have college uh, trips, uh, batch trips uh, after your second year or third year. You can you know to go to uh, places like uh, last time we have gone to Karnataka. I don't remember the exact name of the place. Yeah, it's a batch trip for around the 120 students from my batch have gone to that place, and we have stayed there for three days. It's pretty much fun. Like. we really enjoyed all the time uh staying with, like going out with friends for 3 days or to separately new place um that's like a beautiful thing in your life and uh, you can have like as much fun you want there and uh, yeah like traveling with your friends uh, like around for 10 to 12 hours that's a separate experience after that uh, and a journey you'll feel like all of you all of your batchmates as part of your family and kind of that i had this kind of feeling for at least uh, one month like I, i thought that the entire batch is like my family <laughs> no that okay coming to the uh, current question how are the health center facilities on the campus the health center facilities are pretty much good uh, we have a uh, separate uh, health center called arogya and we have uh, in us there uh, for 12 hours in the day and uh, we have uh, every day we, uh, there we two doctors uh, coming from uh, private hospitals like continental and madri and uh, we have doctors uh, coming for uh, allopathy and uh, all the all the things and uh, if we have any serious problem uh, there will be a vehicle available there uh, and uh, they they take us to the hospital they'll bring back us some of the things uh to the for the health center facilities i would just like to add that we also have uh, uh, uh we also have therapists and counselors on campus just uh, for the sake of our for to take care of our mental health if there is any issue and uh, we also have mou signed with uh, top private hosp- uh, hospitals and pharmacies for uh, for dis- uh, for giving us discount student discount if 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 needed uh the next question we have is is the campus safe at night mallika would you like to answer that yeah sure so like i mentioned earlier as well um our campus is very well uh, guarded and is secure we have one entry point now coming specifically to whether the campus is safe at night 
Uh, it is extremely safe. I have had experience of staying in the research labs or working late at night with my uh, batchmates and friends. And it, it takes a while when you're probably working on some project or researching in some area. And so it, it does get a little late. But I have never felt unsafe or you know had any confusion or doubts when I was coming back from the center to my hostel because I was very, you know, in my mind, I was assured that my campus is very safe and it in indeed is. And you shouldn't be worried about the safety on campus. Back to you, Gayatri. Thank you, Malika. Uh, with this, we would like to conclude our session. First of all, we thank all of you for joining us on the session. Uh, for people who have joined late or have missed out on some part of the session, all the recordings will be available on YouTube after a few days. Uh, the links and email IDs given in the chat box can be used for further com communication with us. Uh, there are more sessions coming up and the next session is on June 21st and it is titled Learning Opportunities for Undergraduate Students at Reply Hyderabad. Uh, I would also request all of you to watch out for our, our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn for, for, for further announcements. Thank you.